Are you an animal lover? Today is a super special episode of Eat Live Love San Fernando Valley. Today, we're at the Wildlife Learning Center in Silmar. Let's get to it. David, it's great to be here. Great to have you, Scott. Thank you so much. This place has been on my list for a really long time to be able to feature you guys. So tell me, what's the inspiration behind the Wildlife Learning Center? Our love of wildlife and, and wanting to protect animals. A lot of the animals that come here are from unfortunate situations and so we're able to give them a home and care for the rest of their life. How do people contact you, let's say for example, if an animal is a rescue animal, to end up being here? Well, a lot of times it's the authorities. California Fish and Wildlife or U.S. Fish and Wildlife will confiscate an animal that's being kept illegally and they will look for a place to, to house it for the rest of their lives. And I think just a Google search of wildlife facilities probably brings us up and we'll get an, an email saying, can you take care of my illegal pet? <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Approximately how many animals do you guys have? We have a, about a hundred, which sounds like a lot for such a small facility like ours, but it's a lot of small animals. Yeah, we don't have anything big, no tigers here, or anything that <laughs> requires a, a large amount of space. Okay, and so yeah. if people haven't come here before, how would you describe it and what's the best way for them to be able to come see the animals that you have? We're open to the public and uh, every day of the week, so people could just come in and um, there's a general admission fee which uh, really helps with the care of the animals. And um, you can walk around just like you would at a, at a zoo. Right. Okay. Well, we're going to go take a look at some of, some of the animals. But like I said, this place, I've been really looking forward to, to coming here for a really <laughs> well, long thank time. thank you for featuring us. All right. All right. Here we have a couple of bald eagles. Each of them have injuries that prevent them from surviving in the wild. They're, they're considered non-flighted. They can only fly very short distances. Uh, we were able to take them in. We had this, this aviary available, and um, so they'll have a home here now. They're pretty big birds. Yeah, she's, she is considered very large. She weighs 11 pounds. Oh, 11 pounds? 11 pounds. That's it. Yeah. Such a beautiful bird. Birds have to be light. Right, right, right. In fact, all of her feathers combined weigh more than her skeleton. Wow. Yeah. So these are your marmosets? Marmoset monkeys, yeah, yeah. Three, we have three of them here, each kept illegally, each three different situations. In two of the cases, they were found. One here in Granada Hills, it was just wow. found, wandering around. Um, the other one was found in Culver City. And then the third one was confiscated during a drug bust in Los Angeles. Wow. We were lucky enough to introduce them all, and they live in family troops in the, in the wild. So this is great that they have each other's companionship. So where did you get Fluffy? Fluffy was another illegal pet. Someone was keeping him in um, their bathtub. Wow. It was only about this big at the time. And so it was, they actually relinquished it on their own. Um, they realized that an alligator does not make an appropriate pet. Right, because it's either that or you have to remodel your bathroom for a much yeah. larger It's not gonna be able to live in the bathroom yeah. for very long. So now it, it lives here and uh, has a pond and a much better life than it ever had in the bathtub. Right on, right on. All right, so this is Juno. She's a red fox. So she has an interesting story of how she ended up here. Yeah, when she was just a baby, someone was advertising her for sale on Craigslist um, as a pet. And that's illegal in California. You can't own these as pets. And so Fish and Wildlife um, learned about it and they set up to, to buy the, the fox. And so they met in a parking lot, a restaurant parking lot in Tarzana, exchanged money for the fox and then, you know, told them who they, they were and they confiscated it. And it turns out that he had other foxes and they go back to his house and he had a whole litter of them. And so they looked for homes for each one of the babies and we were able to take one in here. So she'll have a home for life here. If you're an animal lover like me, these guys could always use your donation. They are a 501c3. They're doing amazing things helping these animals. And here, you know, they're open to the public. You can take guided tours. They have animal experiences as well. And you could even have your kid's birthday party here as well. So I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did filming it. 
the Wildlife Learning Center. They're in Silmar. They're on the corner of Yarnell and Foothill, again, in the city of Silmar. So if you like this episode, you already know what to do. Like, comment, share, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Eat, Live, Love, San Fernando Valley.